Hi, this is Laptop Media, and maybe you've already come across our detailed review of the Lenovo Flex 5. Today we'll be taking a look at 5 specific reasons to buy or skip out on this laptop. Although the exterior is made of plastic, the build is quite firm and solid. The hinges, for example, are maybe even slightly too tight since it's pretty hard to open the laptop with one hand. Although this is really a positive as it mostly eliminates the unnecessary sway. The bottom is also made of plastic and features one long grille for cool air intake. The interior, on the other hand, gives the notebook a premium look as it receives anodized aluminum treatment. Even if you opt for a more affordable configuration, you'll still be presented with a relatively good-looking 14-inch Full HD IPS display. With a high contrast ratio of 1350 to 1, the display will get the job done for work as well as web browsing and even some image editing. A great advantage of the Lenovo Flex 5 panel is that it doesn't use pulse width modulation or PWM at any brightness level, meaning you can comfortably use the device for many hours without experiencing any harmful effects or eye strain. The Lenovo Flex 5 offers a great amount of upgrade options, including an M.2 SSD slot and a 2.5-inch HDD bay, as well as a RAM chip slot. With a capacity of 35 watt hours, it is quite expected that the notebook falls short to other competitors in the same price range in terms of endurance. You will get an average of 5 hours and a half for video playback and web browsing, and about an hour and 45 minutes of gaming. The laptops in the same price range that are better in terms of image quality and endurance are Lenovo IdeaPad 720S, the Asus ZenBook UX410 and the Acer Aspire Swift 5. In addition, another great alternative is the Lenovo IdeaPad 520S which is on the more affordable side. Well, that's it for us today. Keep up to date with the latest on mobile computing at Laptop Media and as always, see you next time.